Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this particular one, we're going to deploy a SUSE Enterprise Linux virtual machine uh, within the Azure environment. And the deployment is very, very simple and uh, the experience is exactly the same as any other virtual machines. For virtual machines, I typically just search for the virtual machine in that search field and click on the virtual machine and it shows up and in the we I have a Red Hat running right now so I'm just gonna add another one click on the virtual machine and this experience that the blade is gonna come up it's also very very uh, you know uh, similar so I'm gonna select a resource group or you can create a new one I'm gonna put it in that under the test lab resource group and uh, let's just call it SUSE East US is my favorite location so that's fine so here the most commonly used images are already pre-populated in here. Uh, so we have deployed Ubuntu many times, Red Hat we deployed in the last video. So let's work on SUSE uh, deployment this time. So, um, so we got that one. Uh, that size is fine. You can change your size if you like from here. Uh, if you go want to go for a cheaper price, so you can look how much it costs over here. So let's maybe go for a uh, cheaper size this time, maybe uh, one V core and two gigs of RAM. So let's let's try that one. So and um, in the last video, we deployed our Red Hat virtual machine with the SSH public key. And we used generate the new key pair uh, and we let the Azure handle it. This time, let's try this option okay use existing key stored in azure this is use existing public key well we'll just go with this one again key pair generate new key pair okay so let's first see um, how to do that so let's call it uh, suse key okay that's gonna be the key pair name uh, there are other things that you can do you can go to the disk uh, you can choose standard HDD, standard HDD or premium. Uh, encryption type is by default encryption as the rest with the platform managed key. You can also use your own managed customer managed key as well. This time I'm just going to go with the standard HDD. Okay, so it's read that the selected VM says support premium disk. We recommend premium SSD for high input outputs workloads virtual machines with premium ssd disk qualify for 99.9% .9 connectivity sla so that's important okay uh, if you want to add additional disk you can do it at this time uh, let's go to net networking it's going to create well, we already have a uh, virtual network is going to use that one subnet and all of that configuration if you want you can do so it's going to create a new uh, ip address and uh, n uh, network interface card it's just gonna create advanced this vm has a pre-configured nsc rule it's, it's good uh you don't really have to do much unless you are trying to achieve any particular goal monitoring boot diagnostic you can keep it on guest you can turn it on if you like storage account you need to save all these logs and stuff so we already have one so you don't have to worry about it auto shut down if you want you can enable that one you can say yeah this time I'm gonna shut down this machine because I know there is no one working after 7 o'clock at night which is a good thing it's gonna save you a lot of money and uh, at the end advanced uh, if you want to add and install extensions you can configure all of that over here tags it's a good practice to add tags uh, say you can say department uh, lab okay so you can say that and then at the last window last last place you can just uh, review this real quick and say create so since we said uh, Azure to manage this key it's gonna tell you that SSH key has generated but this is the only time they are gonna give you this key so very very be careful and download if you don't download then you have to redeploy there's no way you can get the key back again so 
we got the key in here uh, so I'm in a different so let's this is my if I do LS so you see the suski dot PM that got generated okay so this is the key this is the private key by the way so Azure uh, the virtual machine that we are deploying it's got the public key and we have the private key that Azure created and which is downloaded and if you take a look at it uh, source key and this is what it is the other thing while it's deploying that I want to uh, take a look at is LS LH Suski. So if you look at it, the permissions, it's got read, write, and read, read. Okay. So it's recommended that you only have a read permission for these keys. And if you do not change the permission, we're going to see what happens. Okay. So I'm not changing anything right now. So let's let it get deployed for one second. So it's, it doesn't really take too long to deploy any of the virtual machines maybe it take a little bit longer than the storage accounts but most of the time the deployment is like within a minute maybe two uh, while this is going on you can also click on this uh, it should say deployment in progress the other place you can also go is uh, to the resource group itself so if you go to the resource group and here that under deployment it should also tell you the status it says one deployment one deploying and one succeeded so the succeeded one is the red hat one that i deployed earlier not part of this video and the deploying one is the one that's now being deployed is the shush okay so look that here it also knows about the about the key so let's click on the key see what you have so the public key is right there okay so public key is public so no problem with the public key but the private key that you have generated uh, that's not with anybody anymore that's only with you okay so let's uh, go back over here so it still says deployment in progress so let's click on that one if you click on that one so over here it uh, brings back this particular window just give it a second and you should be able to uh, come back in a second and this should be done let me pause the video for a second and we, we're gonna restart as soon as this is done and we'll connect to the virtual machine all right, most interestingly this deployment it looks like it failed so sometimes this, this will happen to anyone so, okay for number of reasons you your deployment uh, may have a problem so here looks like this is where I'm saying that says conflict and operation details uh, it says the handler for VM Tension Linux diagnostic troubleshoot something got some problems. So other place to look at the details you can click over here. So the resource operation completed with terminal provisioning state failed. The handler for VM extension type. So we didn't really ask for a VM extension, but as you automatically deploys the the diagnostics. Okay, so diagnostic that we selected uh, caused this problem. So let's first look at our our resource group okay this is actually this is go to virtual machine see if it create so it did create our virtual machine which is running it just the, the extension one of the extension did not properly get installed so that's also fine so we should still be able to log into the machine and do our stuff we just know that there is something one small extension that was not properly installed so you can go back and troubleshoot and re try to reinstall that if you like but over here i want to quickly take a look at um public ip address okay we have it uh it's running it's east us is where we deploy it uh, so it's a suse linux sles 15.1 is the version of it we got a private ip address as well uh, it's telling you the size and ram one core two gigs of ram here's the operating system disk i don't have a disk encryption not enabled i don't have a data disk which is not a good thing you should have a data disk as well uh here's the linux diagnostic this is the extension we had drop we had problem and we did not use any availability or scaling for this particular virtual machine and here you have some more information about the machine now here are other things that you can do 
but let's try to connect to the machine and see and, and look at the tab uh, tag that we have added we said department lab so we have the tags available for this machine as well so now if you click on connect uh, this is because this is a Linux machine we're gonna use SSH and if you look at the networking first uh, you see the port 2022 20, is open source any destination any is the allow is the app option so network security group is going to allow you to connect to this particular virtual machine from anywhere so let's go back to overview connect SSH and it's going to give you some quick thing so this is the command that you need okay to connect to the machine now let's see what happens if we run okay so that's uh, we're going to provide the private key so it's going to be s suski.pn now notice what's going to happen is asking hey do you want to accept the authenticity of that particular server you're trying to connect just say yes Oh my god what happened it says unprotected private key file okay it says permissions is 0644 for suski pm are too open okay so you cannot have that you it is required that your private key files are not accessible by other others at all so this private key will be will be ignored so how do you fix the problem it says it's a bad permission problem so let look at azure is already telling you hey guys your permission needs to be 400 and nothing else okay so come over here and we're just gonna do sudo okay then we're gonna paste the command and we have it as suski.pm so let's get that and provide your root password to do the sudo operation now If I do uh, lslh on that file, now see, you have only one read access and it's, it's 400, nothing else, okay? So now, do a clear and then run the same command that we ran just a little bit ago and voila, where are we? Look at that, we are inside the Azure virtual machine and it's a shoe say, Linux that's running uh, it's available to us and we can run all kinds of Linux commands and have so much fun with it okay so that's all for the videos so in this video you have learned how to deploy a uh, SUSE Linux Enterprise Edition 15 uh, within Azure environment how to connect to the machine in a secure way using SSH key that was generated by Azure at the time of the deployment. Okay, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, leave your comments. If you're studying for the exam or learning, uh, good luck, enjoy your journey with Azure Cloud. I love it. Have a great day.